Next in Google Drawings, let's look at some format options. The format menu doesn't show us a lot of things we don't already know. We know how to put in text and change it. We can align that text. We can work with spacing and bullets and numberings and tables and formatting and the fill color and connectors and borders and lines and, and things that we're used to and features, honestly, that we see on the standard toolbar. We do, however, want to look at one thing that's different, and that's these format options. You can get to them here from the format menu. <clears throat> you can also get to them up here on the toolbar. And when you click on that, whatever it is that you have selected suddenly has some more options. So I'm going to select my word art, and I'm going to click on format options. It's going to open up over here to the side and give me some options I have not seen before. The first one is size and position. This will let you change the width and the height and the scale of things from here. If you've got specific inch requirements on whatever the item is, or you can also go over here and click and drag and eyeball it if you want to. You can also lock the aspect ratio, which is going to keep it true to the original. You can change the position from wherever it is. You can rotate it or flip it whichever way you want to rotate it or flip it, if that works with the image that you have. So that's there in size and position. Under that is the ability to give this a drop shadow. You can pick the color that you'd like. So let's pick something like that. You can change the transparency of it. You can change the angle of it. You can change the distance. You can change the blur radius. And you end up with some really interesting effects. If you're noticing how this changes as I make some changes, and you can create some of those effects that you may remember from using other programs. This is going to let you create that drop shadow kind of a view. Now that I want the distance to be that far, you make things glow if you are interested, if that works with your purposes. Under that, you've got the option to have a reflection. Take the drop shadow off. Let's look at reflection. When that's on, you get this cool reflection technique that I really like and quite possibly overuse. That's going to give you that effect. You can change the transparency of it as you wish. You can change the distance of it, how far away, how close. It depends on how much space you have. You can also change the size of it. How big is that thing going to be? Is it just a little bit or is it the entire thing? Okay, that's there in format options and that works with word art as well as any other graphic that you wanna to get to. Here's the format options on my Bitmoji. I could change, I could recolor this completely if I wanted it to be something different that met the color scheme of whatever else I was using. I don't think that would work. I'm working with yellows. Uh, brightens it up a little if I'm working with whatever recoloring needs you might have. Here's how you recolor a graphic that's under format options. You can also undo that and go back to no recolor to your original. You got the same adjustments that we saw before. You've got the same drop shadow possibilities and the same reflection possibilities. The big thing here with all of these settings is not to overuse them. Be sure you've got a plan. And that everything that you do in this graphic that you're creating goes together to create something that looks good and that they get your point across and not just something that says, look at me, I found the settings for this. I think I'll overuse them. That's all there in format. Those are the format options.